So let me show you this pedal board real quick. Yeah, so this is kind of your gigging pedal board? Yeah, and I, I've always built my own pedal boards, you know, just for convenience. Because the minute you have a pedal board made by one of our favorite guys, You're gonna change you want to it? change it? Exactly. Sure. Yeah. So I do it myself. I use these Voodoo Labs uh, Dingbat pedal boards with the programmable loop strips. I recommend them. But this one, the thing about this one that's unique for me is it has expression pedals. So I can go totally dry. And then I can bleed in delay. And is it the Strymon delay that you're... It's uh, the Maris. Okay. Yeah, it's a new Maris. I do have multiple delays here, but that's just, you know, so you can do stuff quickly and just call up different sort of presets and stuff. Sure. But I also have this MXR reverb on an expression pedal. <laughs> It's situated so if I want to, I can do both expression pedals at the same time and bleed in delay and reverb. So it's dry. So I'm having fun with that. But you know, I, I redesign these things all the time. I have another one up there that's in process. I recommend doing your own pedal boards and trying to buy the best stuff to the best cables and the best. Like I really like the Voodoo Lab stuff. I can vouch for these loop strips. They they have been bulletproof reliable for years now. So what we've got here is we've got the ODR one from the early '90s. We've got the the Equalizer. Uh, modified by XTS. We've got Greg Droman's Karma Pedal, which is a clone of the Most Distortion. We have the XTS Tremolo. We have the Vibrato, uh, and I love the Wazocraft Boss Vibrato also. Oh, right. The new one's great. We've got the Universal Re uh, Universal Modulator and the Starlight Echo Machine. This is a Fairfield Electronics Falling Water, which is a great random kind of modulator with a boost in it, which is you know, I recommend. I have the Lex Strymon for Leslie Sounds, uh, and then the Andy Timmons Halo for delays, which is an that's amazing so pedal. And then the Maris, which is also a great delay. So that's just right now. These things change all the time. You know, I think, I think you guys, I don't know how you feel, but Pedal boards are always a work in progress. Oh, and, yeah. And this, they're like etched in stone for like a month, and then you change it, you know, and that's how it should be. And yeah. I even create pedal boards for, for particular projects, you know. Oh, sure. So, yeah, this is the, the, the pedal board. I did a video on this pedal board uh, a couple of months ago, and it was very different. So oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is a moving target. Yeah, so for live, I love to actually just kind of change it up for the particular project. Yeah, isn't it? It's it's a funny thing how I there are pedals that I just like. This is my overdrive. Yeah, and then one day it's like I hate this thing. Anything but this. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, you should embrace that. It, it, you know, keep <laughs> yeah. it fresh. Change it all the time. Keep it fresh. Hey, I would love to hear this weirdo pedal. If that's okay. okay. What, Fairfield. What's, yeah, let's I've do never it. heard of that before. Yeah. What is it again? Okay, it's Fairfield Electronics Falling Water. <laughs> So what it is, is it's, you can really, really twist it. So I wouldn't use it like that, but it's a little bit of warped vinyl, basically, sure. in the sound. And then it has a volume knob, so it has a boost in it, so you can bring back, you know a lot of pedals maybe shrink the tone a little bit? Not yeah. with this, you can actually boost it a little bit. See, when I kick it on, it, it jumps up a little bit, so that's good too, so I recommend it. You just have to really work with it and find the, the warble and the wobble uh, and the warped sound that's not unmusical. You know what I'm saying? If oh, you take yeah. it too far, it's not musical. Yeah, so just right before seasick is when it's really the, the sweet You've sound. done this before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I love it. Okay, very cool. Okay, and this is gigging around. Yeah, I, I, yeah I take it to studios. I use it live. And yeah, it's, and also I learned, I mean, in earlier in my career, I had massive pedal boards. Sure. It's just, you got to be able to carry the thing. So yeah. now I have two of these. If I really want overkill with, you know, all kinds of whammy pedals and stuff, I have another one of these, you know, that, that's up there getting, you know, being born. Sure. So sure. you don't need a big pedal board. It should be big, big enough to get you what you want, but not too big to carry around. Yeah.
Yeah, because because if it's it, the bigger they are, the more trouble you're going to have. Either things breaking or hauling around or yeah. whatever.